Chakula kiliwaponza. Na sasa watatu wameaga dunia. Watatu hao wakiwa kati ya 20 waliobugia chakula cha aina ya gideri Ijumaa. Waziri wa Afya kaunti ya Baringo Mary Panga amedhibitisha kisa hicho kwamba alifariki wakipokea matibabu katika hospitali ya rufaa ya Baringo. Three of them were critically ill then and we took them to ICU. Um, but during the night we we lost two of them unfortunately and uh, at the moment those who are a little bit better nilipofika saa ya asubuhi basi madaktari hawakukua kabisa kufikia asubuhi na huyo wangu akasidi kuenda kutovika afya katofika kufikia kitu saa moja akawa ana, ana nguvu tena ya ku, ya, ku, ya kupumua na hapo tu aka, akawa uh, akapotesa uh, kakataro Haya yanajiri huku watu wanne miongoni mwa sita waliokuwa melazwa katika wadi ya wagonjwa maututi wakisafirishwa hadi mjini Eldoret kupokea matibabu katika hospitali ya rufaa ya Moi huku tisa wengine wakiendelea kupata nafuu. Vile ni test ni kono miwili ndio ni realize nilisikia ni kama kuna uchungu kiazi na kuna harufu kiazi. Wengine walitangulia ukula. Tuanza kusikia kitu kusungu hivi. Alafu sisi toka tulikuwa nyuma ukula. Sasa tu au akatangulia ukuja. Sasa sisi tukaendelea kidogo hivi hata sisi tukasikia tuka kusungusungu hivi tena. Hata hivyo waziri Panga anasema kwamba uchunguzi umeanza kubaini aina ya sumu iliyokuwa kwenye chakula hicho. Huku sampuli za damu za waathiriwa zikipelekwa kwenye maabara ya serikali ili kuweza kudhibitisha hofu yao. Looks like it's organophosphate because of how the patients are presenting and that's what we have been managing actually treating like it's an organophosphate and it's responding but still as we said uh, samples of the food from vomitors have been taken to uh, government chemist and you are waiting for the results but we are managing them as organophosphate poisoning Vile vile uchunguzi dhidi ya kisa hicho unaendelea huku mbwa watatu pia ambao wanashukiwa kula chakula hicho kusemekana kufa Gloria Milimu K24 Weekendi